Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at creating a part in Onshape based on one of your dimensioned multi-view drawings. So in this first video, I'm going to go through creating the properly scaled drawing for drawing number one from your packet. You don't have to follow along and create this object in Onshape unless you just want to for a little bit of practice. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my unit one folder and I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to title this uh, 1.2.4 drawing number one. And once we're inside, I'm going to go ahead and get started on a sketch. And I'm going to base this on the front plane here. And so on my dimensioned multi view. So here is the answer key to number one. If you've been um, working on this packet, here is the answer key. <laughs> so using that scale of one inch per every two blocks, which I know these lines were really hard to see on the paper. It was hard to see on the original copy as well. Um, so based on that particular scale, these are the measurements. So I'm going to start by creating this front view and dealing with that center, uh, that circular hole on the front view. So I need a rectangle that's three and a half inches wide and two and a half inches tall. So that is what I'm going to start with. I'm going to base it at the origin here and create the rectangle. I'm going to hit the D key to dimension to create three and a half inches here and two and a half inches tall. All right. So once I have that going, um, I do want to create that circular hole piece. So I'm going to use the center point circle and I'm just going to create it in a random spot. But based on, oh, this is not a full answer key. I do not have a locator for the height for the center of this. So I need one more dimension here telling me that this is one inch above the bottom. It's two inches from the left edge, so I can definitely use that locator. So hit the D key for dimension, go from the left edge to the center, and this needs to be two inches. From that bottom to the center, that needs to be one inch. And we're not super um, concerned with where all of these dimensions go, because this isn't the dimension drawing. We're just trying to create the part right now. Okay, the last dimension I need is how big this circle is. So that circle had a diameter of two inches. For some reason it pushed it all the way out there. Okay, that's fine. Again, doesn't matter where these things go. That feels wrong. That does not look like an appropriate size. If we revisit our packet, that particular circle appears to have a radius, so from center to the edge, of maybe one and a half blocks, which would put the radius at three fourths of an inch. And the diameter then being double the radius, that would be more like a diameter of 1.5 inches. So let's double click on that and change that to 1.5 inches. That looks much more correct. <laughs> okay. So, hey, sometimes, you know, when we're working on paper, it looks like one thing. Then when we get into the digital environment, we realize some edits and some changes need to be made. Okay, so I think that's just about everything that we need on this front view. So let's go ahead and hit the extrude key. And what we want to extrude is just the outer piece. We don't want the circular piece. Um, so it was already selected. Make sure it's dark gray. And the depth of this, based on the top view, is one inch. So if I swing that around, yeah, this definitely has that same look as what is right in our isometric here. So on the top view then, the last thing that we need to uh, include is that hole that goes all the way through. Okay. And so we need to size it, we need to locate it. So let's go ahead and go to our top face and add a sketch there. Click on the top view so we can get a good look at it. And I'm going to add a circle. And I will dimension a couple of things. So starting with the size, 
the size of this circle has a diameter of 0.5 inches. So 0.5, that looks good. And we also need the locating measurements. So we can see that uh, left to right, we have a 3 quarter inch location. So dimension key or the dimension icon there. Clicking the left edge to the center. Actually get the edge, not that point. There we go. Um, and that's 0.75. You can also type in 3 fourths, like 3 divided by 4. That would work as well. It converts it to 0.75, so decimals is the um, default. But once again, we need one more location uh, piece. We need to tell it how high um, vertically from this bottom edge uh, to the center this should be. So I am missing one more dimension here. And on the paper, it looks like it's pretty much halfway, um, so half an inch above that bottom edge. So hit that dimension key, get that edge to the center, and this would be 0.5. All right, so on this top view, one other thing we need is, well, to actually extrude that circle all the way through the part. So we're going to go ahead and hit the extrude key. We're going to select that circle that we just made. We want it to remove material so it goes the other direction. And if you choose this drop down, instead of having to select like a specific distance, we can just go ahead and select through all. And it's going to go through all of the material all the way through. So go ahead and hit the check mark or enter. And here we have the part in number one. So in the next video, I'm going to walk you through creating the drawing sheet with the line conventions and the dimensioning. So I'll see you in the next one.